This is question 25 from the 2008 non-calculator paper. Here we are given a diagram and we are given some information about this diagram. Our key information really is that it's a parallelogram so um, what we can say is that these lines here, so O to A and C to B are parallel and O to C and A to B are also parallel. Um, then M is the midpoint, so halfway in between C and B and N is the midpoint of AB, so halfway in between A and B. OA is equal to A and OC is equal to C. We are asked first of all to find in terms of A and or C the vectors MB and MN. So MB, now all that that means is from M here up to B here. Now what we could say first of all is let's start doing a little bit of labelling. Now what we can say is that A, we can see here, A is going in this direction. So what we can say is that O to A that distance and that direction is being described by the vector positive A. If I were to go in the opposite direction and the same distance that would be negative A. Now what I can see here is because these lines are parallel because they are parallel I can say that M to B is going to be in the direction of A we're told here that M is the midpoint of CB so I'm actually only going half of the distance so what I could say is that from M to B that this is simply positive half of A so A would be the entire distance from C to B we're only going from M to B so we can say that it is positive half A so MB I can just call half a. Now part 2 of A is M to N. Well M to N we need to get from here M up to N. So we've already got, we already know what M to B is. M to B is half of A. Now let's take a look at what C. So again let's do a little bit of labelling. We can see here that in this direction we're going in the direction of C, so from O to C, that direction and distance we has been labelled as positive C. So going in the opposite direction, if we were to go in the opposite direction, that would be negative C. So if we were going to go from C to O, that would be negative C. Now what I can see here is to go from B to N, we're told that N is the midpoint we can see that we're going in the same direction as negative c but we're only going half of the distance so this part here is going to be negative half c so negative half c so how are we getting from m to n we're going plus half a negative half c so I'm just going to call that half a minus half c and next part b asks us to show that c to a is parallel to m to n so c to a that's from this point here to that point there so the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to uh, figure out what our vector is here two ways we can go we can go this way and then that way or we can go this way and then this way so I'm going to go in this direction first C to B and then B to A I can see here that from going from C to B that is going in the direction of positive A and it's the same distance as well so C to B is positive A then I'm going in the direction of and distance of negative C so positive A with and then negative C so I can say that the vector C to A is equal to A minus C. Now I need to show that this vector here from C to A is parallel with this vector here M to N. So C A I can see 
as we've just said, is a minus c. And what I'm going to do here for for this vector m to n, I'm just going to write it in a slightly different way. What you can maybe see is that half a minus half c, well that is that can be factorised. We can take that factor of a half out. So I'm just going to do that half a minus c. Now what we can now see is that the what we can see is that m n is simply half of the distance of c to a. You're going in exactly the same direction, a minus c, but m n is simply half the distance. So what we could say is that c a is equal to 2 m n. And we could say that, um, so if we wanted to make a statement, we could say that they are parallel. And we could say they are parallel. Um, uh, we can say that a, uh, sorry, that a minus c is a factor. So a minus c is a factor of the parallels, uh, sorry, of the vector m n. So that must mean that we're either going in the same direction, so they're parallel, or they are connected. We know that they're not on the same straight line together, so what we can say is that they are going to be parallel.